Hi there, I'm Katie, your safety trainer. Today we're diving into something super important, how to handle flammable liquids safely. You know, chemicals and fuels are everywhere in industries, used for all kinds of critical tasks, but with their hazardous nature, we really need to be careful. It's crucial to understand the right ways to use and store flammable liquids, from cleaning fluids and paints to gasoline and other risky stuff. Getting this right can protect you, your coworkers, and even prevent your job site from turning into a disaster zone. So let's get into it and make sure we all know how to keep things safe and sound. Let's break down what exactly a flammable liquid is. Imagine any liquid that can catch fire easily because it has a flash point below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really not that hot when you think about it. And it can have a vapor pressure over 40 PSI at that same temperature. Now when we talk about flash point, it's the lowest temperature at which a liquid can give off enough vapor to ignite when mixed with air. It's actually these vapors that catch fire, not the liquid itself. Now about PSI, it stands for pounds per square inch, and it's how we measure pressure. Flammable liquids are serious business, so they're categorized into what we call class 1 liquids. There are three subclasses here, class 1A, 1B, and 1C, each indicating a different level of hazard. Class 1A flammable liquids are the trickiest. They have flash points really low, under 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and they boil below 100 degrees. Class 1B's flash point is also below 73 degrees, but their boiling point is at least 100 degrees. Lastly, Class 1C liquid's flash point is a bit higher, between 73 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. Flammable liquids are a bit tricky. While they don't actually catch fire themselves, it's the vapors they give off as they evaporate that are the real troublemakers. These vapors mix with air and create dangerous gases just waiting for a spark to set them off. Take gasoline, for instance. It can start evaporating at super cold temperatures like 45 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. And as it warms up, it just keeps evaporating faster, giving off more vapors. Here's something to remember. These vapors are usually heavier than air, so they tend to settle down into low areas. Without proper ventilation, even a tiny spark in such an area can lead to a major explosion. So handling flammable liquids safely is all about managing the three must-haves of a fire. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. From the moment these liquids arrive at a site to the time they're used up or disposed of, the safety equipment and methods in place need to control at least one of these elements to keep everything safe. When it comes to storing and using flammable liquids, there's a playbook we need to follow closely. Start by always reading the manufacturer's label on any container before you store or use it. It's got crucial info that can keep you safe. Keeping the storage area for these liquids tidy is key. Any spills, clean them up right away and toss those cleanup rags into a ventilated metal container that's closed. And speaking of containers, only store flammable liquids in approved metal safety containers or the original containers they came in. Keep those containers shut tight when not in use and store them away from any exits or passageways. For the storage rooms designed for these liquids, they should be grounded. This means connecting them with a grounding wire to the room's grounding system, which helps any static electricity drain off safely, preventing sparks. Use flammable liquids only in well-ventilated areas because not all dangerous liquids have a smell, and some vapors are not just flammable, but poisonous too. Always wear the right personal protective equipment, or PPE, when handling these liquids. And be extra careful not to get any on your skin or clothes. It could irritate your skin, or worse, catch your clothes on fire. If any gets on you, wash it off or change your clothes immediately. As we wrap this up, remember the golden rule. Keep flammable liquids far away from any open flames, sparks, and definitely no smoking around them. These substances demand respect and a careful approach. Always stick to the manufacturer's guidelines for using flammable liquids. It's not just about following rules, it's about keeping you and everyone around you safe. 
Let's handle these materials with the care they require and make sure we're all in for a safe day at work. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe out there. All right, flammable liquids. Be on fire. <laughs> for some reason, that hand motion just make me think of Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> Use flammable liquids only in well vein. Well, 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 here he is. Class 1B's flashpoint is also below. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Death. Okay, gases. Sorry. Oh, get a laugh. <laughs>